Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're gonna do a detailed FAQ on the Xiaomi Redmi 9 Power. So Redmi 9 Power is the latest smartphone announced in India. You can see that uh, this is the latest smartphone and the pricing starts at 10 triple nine. And this comes with quite good hardware. In fact, uh, for the price segment, it is being offered. It has uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 662 chipset, full HD plus resolution display and a quad camera setup. So, so we'll be doing the regular FAQ of the Redmi 9 Power covering all the aspects. So let's get started. So if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's get started. So first step, let's have a look at the build quality. Now this device comes uh, with a polycarbonate material. You can see that the polycarbonate material on the back panel. In fact, the, the material quality looks really good. It is a matte finish and you also can see a pattern here and apart from that you can also see uh, a pattern on uh, the back panel you can see that uh, from the camera unit you can see a pattern uh, on the back panel you can also see the redmi branding the build quality definitely looks great uh, the polycarbonate uh, feels really sturdy and the grip of the device is also good even with a 6000 mAh large capacity battery it doesn't feel like a 6000 mAh device that's something which is really impressive what xiaomi has done because uh, we have seen 6000 mAh capacity batteries like the uh, the uh, poco x3 and even uh, the samsung's m51 which was uh, very large capacity battery but uh, those devices were bulky but here you can see that it's very slim for a 6000 mAh capacity battery so the design and build quality definitely looks good you also get a uh, water drop or dot notch display with a uh, uh, friend selfie camera and uh, the bezels are also kind of uh, minimal you also get uh, the fingerprint scan on the side panel and uh, overall uh, the build quality definitely looks great on the redmi 9 prime so that's something which is pretty good now let's talk about uh, the display now this has a full hd resolution display it's a 6.53 inches full hd resolution display the display quality is definitely good the brightness levels are kind of adequate i would say it's not a very bright display but still uh, kind of uh, good for the price segment outdoor visibility is again acceptable and uh, you also get uh, good colors as well you can see the viewing angles are again quite okay the touch response feels very smooth and uh, you also get uh, the corning gorilla glass 3 support on this device now next let's move on to sim card so you get uh, uh, a dedicated sd card slot here so this is the sim card slot you get uh, an sd card slot and uh, you get uh, 64 gigabyte storage as well as 128 gigabyte uh, storage so those are the two uh, variants available available lpddr4x is the ram uh, it's a 4 gigabyte ram available and uh, you have ufs 2.2 support uh, on this device so it's uh, well equipped in terms of the ram and the storage ufs 2.2 and lpddr4x ram you get 4 gigabyte ram available on this device and two storage options are included now next let's talk about the software so this device has um, uh, you can actually see that this is uh, on running on top of android 10 uh, in fact, you can see that uh, MIUI 12 is a global variant. Uh, so you can see here MIUI 12 and um, Android 10 version. And uh, if you look at the all specs, you can see uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 662 octa-core processor, 4 gigabyte RAM. And the variant which we have uh, is a 64 gigabyte uh, storage variant. And you can see the Redmi 9 Pro. It's a MIUI 12.0.2 global variant running on Android 10. So that's the software now uh, being a redmi device uh, it does feature a bit of ads uh, so that's something which uh, you have to live with when you're buying a, a xiaomi smartphone uh, you have ads in the xiaomi apps and you can actually do a bit of customization with uh, disabling ads and there are few apps which are pre-installed as well uh, you can also go ahead and uh, change or rather uninstall these apps as well so that's a software aspect now talking about the performance so this device is powered by the uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon uh, 662 octa-core processor. Now 662 is a quite a good chipset for the 10 to 12k price segment. It offers a great performance as well. You can see uh, app switching is quite uh, smooth uh, and no lags here. And even the gaming test, uh, we have done a detailed gaming test. You can also check out that video. It's quite a decent chipset uh, in terms of gaming experience as well. You won't get uh, higher graphic options or uh, higher graphic settings, obviously, because this is a more of a budget chipset and uh, you do get decent options in terms of gaming as well. Overall performance looks uh, pretty good on this device. So next uh, is the LED notification. So we'll just connect this to a charger. So you can see that uh, there is no LED notification included on this device. So that's something which is again uh, missing on the Redmi 9 Power. Now talking about the USB OTG functionality that is supported on this device. Uh, so similar to any Xiaomi device, you do get uh, USB OTG functionality. 
Now next let's talk about the fingerprint scanner and the face unlock. So this is the fingerprint scanner, the side mounted fingerprint scanner and uh, it's quite uh, fast. You can see that uh, uh, it may not be the fastest out there. You can see that it does take a bit of time, uh, a second uh, to unlock, but uh, it's quite accurate uh, in terms of unlocking. Now next uh, let's uh, see the face unlock as well. So there you go. Again, it may not be the fastest out there. It does take a while to unlock, but it's more or less accurate. So that's the fingerprint scanner and face unlock of this device. Now let's talk about the sensors available. So uh, we have installed the sensors app. So there you go. You can see that it comes with uh, accelerometer, magnetic sensor, gyroscope, light proximity. So all the basic sensors are included on this uh, device. Now next uh, is uh, the Widevine L1 support. So a lot of people are interested in knowing. So this device does come with a Widevine L1 support. So you can see here security level is uh, L1 and we have confirmed with uh, the company that this device does support Widevine L1. Now camera to AP, that's again something which is uh, really important for people who want to try Gcam. So you can see that uh, level 3 support, that means uh, there is full support on this device. So you can uh, try uh, Gcam on uh, uh, this device. Uh, there are lots of available for the Snapdragon 662 power device. So you can try that out. So next uh, let's talk about the camera. So we have a, a quad camera setup. We have a primary 48 megapixel uh, camera. This is uh, Samsung's uh, GM1 sensor and uh, you get an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera then uh, uh, a third uh, 2 megapixel depth sensor and 2 megapixel macro sensor and on the front panel uh, you get an 8 megapixel uh, uh, selfie camera so that's the camera aspect so here are some camera samples uh, we are taken with this device they, they come quite good for the price segment we have also done uh, a detailed uh, camera review you can also check out that video to find out how the camera performance has been now next uh, let's talk about the battery and the charging so this device as i said before 6000 mAh capacity battery and uh, 18 watt uh, fast charging supported the phone has uh, 18 watt charging support but the bundle charger is 22.5 watt charger uh, that doesn't charge in 22.5 volt uh, it charges in 18 volt and it takes around three and a half hours to charge the from zero to 100 percent is that zero to uh, 6000 mAh uh, capacity battery takes around uh, uh, three and a half hours close to three and a half hours we are given a detailed charging test of this device now this device supports uh, voice over Wi-Fi and uh, 4G support is there, dual volt so we have tried with a uh, Geo and uh, uh, Idea Vodafone network and we did not see any sort of signal issues and it's quite good in terms of uh, uh, the signal strength. Now talk, talking about the battery life, this is very good in terms of battery life, you can get uh, more than 10 hours of screen on time, that's uh, really impressive, again the screen on time depends upon person to person, uh, it may not be the same screen on time what I get. Uh, uh, because uh, the app siren might be different so again it's kind of a very indicative test so for me uh, i got more than uh, 10 hours easily on this device in fact 10 to 11 hours is easily possible with a uh, normal usage now text talking about uh, the colors so it comes in uh, four colors uh, the black uh, red uh, blue and green color so we have the blue variant with us and uh, the pricing is uh, 10 triple line for the 4 gigabyte ram and uh, 64 gigabyte storage uh, 11 triple line for the 4 gigabyte ram and 128 gigabyte storage and uh, those are the two variants available and uh, this is now available in india and uh, regarding um, uh, the sound output it comes with the dual stereo speakers that's something which is uh, really good there is also a splash resistant coating there is no official ip rating included but there is a splash resistant coating included and uh, there is also corrosion free uh, coating for uh, the ports this is something which uh, almost all xiaomi smartphones have but they have uh, actually done that for uh, the redmi 9 power as well now we'll just uh, uh, show you uh, the sound quality in fact uh, the sound uh, performance of this device so we'll just uh, play an audio file uh, from uh, our uh, phone and then we'll uh, show you uh, how good uh, the quality is so there you go
so that's the sound quality we have a, a dual st uh, stereo speakers so one speaker is on the top and uh, one is at the bottom so that's the dual stereo speaker so it's uh, pretty good uh, in terms of sound quality so that is a speaker test of uh, uh, the redmi 9 power so that is a detailed faq of the redmi 9 power hope uh, you enjoyed watching this video if you still have any questions you can just drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries so that's it for this video do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon for more updates and videos from technique thanks for watching have a great day